Hello guys and girls, welcome back to another video. Today we're calibrating our speaker with sound ID reference. Let's go! So, welcome back. As you can see, I set up the sound ID measuring microphone uh, and we're gonna use it to calibrate the speakers in this very room. So, as you watched, uh, in the previous video I showed you how I treated my room, spending as less as possible. Um, the audio results were pretty, uh, I don't know, you, can, you could hear the difference, uh, but I think that measuring is even more important and every time that you can make a measure and have numbers that represent a certain scenario, uh, that's better. Uh, but anyway, uh, I don't want to I want to keep this video very simple because mm, not everyone is interested in the finer details. Uh, the stuff that you need to know is that this software measures your room. It takes about 20 minutes and the uh, final result is an EQ curve that is being applied live. Either uh, you can put it in the master as a plugin or you can have it system wide in your mm, Mac or PC. And Essentially, it compensates the issue you have in the room. Uh, it can't compensate for everything, of course. If you have a cancellation uh, in the spot where you listen, uh, that's not going to be affected by the EQ curve. But if you have some frequencies that are more or less uh, apparent that they should be, uh, that takes care of it and you should get a flat results and that is especially useful in this kind of scenarios uh, where you can yes treat your room but you don't have the budget to you know have something professionally done and the software is pretty pretty cheap uh, the microphone is uh, not included you can buy the microphone with the software or the software alone uh, but I really recommend using their microphone because you can uh, get even more accurate results because uh, each microphone has a serial number that you insert uh, when you're measuring and so the each microphone can be different from one another so they know exactly which microphone you are using and yeah that's as accurate as it could be but let's get right into it so I set it up the way that uh, the microphone se sits right where I will be listening so uh, at the level of my ears um, yeah you have to get rid of everything in the room because you get to move this mic around uh, because it's gonna take a while for it to measure everything and so we're going to try measuring uh, with the panels on and without them so we can see the difference between having the panels and not having the panels and if you can achieve something uh, that is comparable with a good room without the panels. Let's see. So we're gonna start the setup. You're asked if you want the uh, this the thing to work system wide of as a plugin. I do prefer to work it as a plugin. Uh, it is available for headphones too, but today we're going to for the speakers. And we're gonna launch the measure app, which is already running. Get started. The setup is in stereo. Let's see if the phantom is on for the channel. I don't think it is, so we're gonna turn it on. The output is routed, and yes. Now we're gonna tap the microphone to see if we have signal. We do have it. Okay. The reference microphone I already inserted, so let's go. It's gone. Gone. Please adjust the volume of your output device. My voice should sound at normal conversation volume. Left speaker. Right speaker. Please adjust the volume of your output device. So, this is the conversation volume. Uh, yes, I did everything here. And we're going to start adjusting.
Now I'm going to put it the mid range driver on the left. And let's see. Stay where you are. Measurements in progress. Left speaker done. So now it's going to check the distance uh, that it measured and you're gonna compare it with uh, a ruler. Of course you have to check if the, the, measures, the measurements are right and basically you have to measure the triangle between uh, the position of the microphone and the speakers which as again should be where you are, the place where you stand when you listen. So I already measured the room with the panels and I have a result for the test cure. Now we're going to do the same without the panels. Let's remove them. Now let's do the same without the panels. So, as you can see, there's a slightly difference uh, in the bass region and in the high uh, 10 kHz region. Uh, it's not very dramatic uh, because yeah, most of the difference is made by uh, the other panels, the size of the room, the position of the um, speakers in the room, a lot of variables, but uh, this is a, an equalization curve that compensates for these differences and um, yeah there is a difference it's not that dramatic but uh, uh, the panels are not there just for the equalization are also there for the uh, reverb but as you can see even without panels this is very useful you have to remember that this, plug this uh, very plugin uh, can solve all your problems so for example right now without the panels I have a lot of reverb uh, I have a lot of reverberation and that is that cannot be fixed by the plugin. Uh, it cannot remove the uh, audio from the room. Uh, it can compensate the equalization of the room. So uh, the panels and without panels, uh, the, the thing that I, I like with this, with this plugin is that uh, you can treat a room and even if it's not the perfect, uh, perfect, the perfect room, uh, you can still have a pretty good representation of uh, a flat sound and um, I don't know, for the price that this plugin is, uh, is for is amazing, I think. Um, yeah, you can also 
uh, if you have a friend, uh, you, you can share the microphone with it. Uh, for example, I have a friend that already had sound ID, and so the microphone is. Uh, he, he landed me the microphone. I didn't have to spend. So uh, my only uh, price was the plugin itself. Uh, but uh, which, by the way, it comes with a lot of uh, audio interface. Uh, you have a trial period. You you also have the trial period from the sound ID uh, guys themselves, but. Uh, you can get a bit more um, let's fix this much better with the panels so as I was saying uh, you have some uh, kind of period of trial and if you don't have uh, the option to treat a room, or even if you don't even have uh, studio monitors to calibrate, there is also the headphone version, which is even more useful, uh, in my opinion, because yes, you could have uh, the perfectly treated room and you may don't even need to uh, use Sound ID. As you can see, the, the uh, EQ curve is not dramatic uh, in, their, in their marketing, they, they show much worse situations for example very small rooms with uneven uh, surfaces and that can be much worse but as you can see in my condition uh, the the room room was sounding decently enough that the EQ adjustment wasn't uh, too uh, too wild it's like in the realm of 3 to 6 dB I think um, but the real but the benefit with the headphones is that uh, even if you have the flattest headphone you can have, they probably will need a bit of calibration. And in their software, they have a lot of uh, presets for uh, headphones. For example, for my uh, AKG, uh, they have that uh, calibration, that presets, and they also have a simulation of uh, ambience. For example, you can simulate being in your car. And so you can listen to your mix in your room, you can listen to your mix in your headphones, and you can listen to your mix, for example, in a simulated studio or in a simulated car. Uh, you, so you save time by not having to physically go into your car with the pen drive or with your phone and to listen to the track. Um, that, is, that is basically saving time, some limited amount of time that you can use between your job and your family uh, to, you know, record the track and produce uh, like I do. I don't have every uh, every day to spend I need to optimize my time and this software is uh, it's basically doing that so uh, let me know in the comments what you think uh, let me know if you want to listen the difference I don't know how to uh, bring it to you because it's really hard to uh, give you the, the the image of where I am and the sound of where I am without without uh, astonishingly priced microphones which I know I don't have uh, because I can't justify them uh, but yeah, the what what I can tell you is that there is a difference with the EQ on, but it's dramatic, and that it's maybe due to the situation I'm in. It may be uh, less subtle in your in your room. Uh, it all depends on the condition where you are, the position of the monitors, where you sit. Uh, a lot of variables, um, and yeah, the the the, high, the the bigger difference is in the headphones. Uh, the headphones go from being honest to really flat and they they get crispy and perfect really really like that by the way this isn't sponsored i paid for the whole thing but i thought that you might be interested if you are if you are in a situation like me uh so where you have uh some kind of home studio uh as low budgets as it can get uh but you still want the best results that you can get and this software is uh, one if not the software to get uh, if you want some kind of professional results from a home studio so this is it for today let me know in the comments if you liked it subscribe if you want to support me follow me on instagram and i'll catch you in the next one see ya